Welcome! In front of me I have Polar Vantage V3 and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the iPhone. First thing you will need to do is to turn on your watch and you can turn it on by pressing and holding the middle button right here until you see the Polar logo on the screen. And once you see the logo you can release the button and wait until the watch uh, boots up. And after it does you may see the list of languages on the screen. Basically if your watch is brand new or it's been reset to the factory default settings you will see this uh, list of languages. If you see it select the language you like by scrolling through the list finding, finding the language and then tapping on it to select it and apply it. And once you select the language you will be asked if you want to set up your watch on your phone on your computer on on your watch because you don't need to pair it with a phone to set it up, you can use your computer or you can basically go through the uh, profile setup on your watch if you don't mind or if you don't want to connect it to a phone. We want to connect it to a phone so we're gonna select the on your phone option but before we do that we need to download and install the Polar Flow application on our iPhone. So make sure you have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled on your iPhone then open the App Store on the iPhone and tap on the search icon then tap on the search bar and type in uh, Polar Flow. And tap on search, of course. And on the list of results, you should see Polar Flow application. Tap on it to select it, then tap on the uh, Get button right here to download and install it. And after the application is done installing, you can tap on Open uh, to open it. In the app you may see a couple of pop-ups about permissions like Bluetooth one. This one I recommend to allow because I believe if you won't allow it you won't be able to pair the devices together. So allow the Bluetooth permission. Next we have the notifications permissions. It's not required but if you want to receive the notifications from your iPhone on your watch uh, for, the, for this feature to work you will need to allow this permission. If you don't care you can keep it denied. And and now we need to log in into a Polar account. If you don't have an account, you can tap on create account button right here. I already have one, so I'm gonna tap right here, enter the email address and password. And then we can tap on sign in to log in. And after you log in, you may see this page. It will basically redirect you to the device page. Other, other option is that you won't see it because if you have the devices connected to your account already, it won't redirect you to this page. So if it doesn't, you can tap on the more options icon in the app and tap on devices and it will bring you to the list of devices connected to your iPhone. And if you have any, you will need to tap on the more options in the top right corner and tap on select uh, on the option called start with a new device basically. And it's gonna redirect you to this page. And once you're on this page in the app, you will need to enter the pairing mode on your watch. And you can do it in two ways. You can, if your watch is brand new and you selected the language, you will need to select the option on your phone. Or you can press the, press and hold the uh, back button right here. And it will automatically try to sync with, with your phone and will enter the basically pairing mode, I would say. So I'm gonna select this option because my watch is brand new. As you can see, that's how it looks like. And the app automatically detected our watch. So we can tap on start, pair, confirm on the watch by pressing the middle button. And we can allow or deny the permission for the location. And next we can set up the profile for our uh, watch. As you can see, the app is not made well to, they changed the background and you can barely see what's written in the app. For some reason, they didn't, really check the background like I don't know the text and background differences and basically text is kind of uh, barely visible I would say anyway we have the preferred wrist time format language of the device and the preferred time sleep so you can select uh, the options and once you're done you can tap on save and sync Now we can go through the introduction for the watch, so basically a little tutorial how to use it. I'm just gonna tap on close to close it. And if you select the devices from the menu, you will see your Polar Vantage 3. And of course, uh, on your watch you will be able to use it. And 
another way you can tell that the watch is connected with your phone is there is no icon right here at the top. Normally, if your watch is not connected with a phone, you have this uh, crossed uh, phone icon at the top of the watch face. Okay, and that's how you pair this watch with the iPhone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.